See, PSLV is a uh, trusted workhorse of ISRO and it's going to be used now uh, in the launching of Aditya L1. Aditya L1 has to uh, find its place eventually at a point called L1 it, or Lagrange uh, 1, uh, which is a point uh, between the Earth's sun line uh, in the direction of the sun about 15 lakh kilometers from the Earth. So that's where uh, the Earth and Sun's gravity uh, balance each other and around is a point which is not a mass but just a point uh, Aditya L1 is going to be in our, in our orbit and will be facing the Sun all the time and then gives, uh, take observations and pass them on to uh, ground stations of ISRO. But uh, apart from this, uh, uh, PSLV rocket has been used uh, for most of the uh, launches by ISRO. It is a trusted uh, workhorse as they call it and uh, its design goes back to 1968 when uh, Incospar uh, was wanting to develop its own uh, satellite launch vehicle. So there were six designs ready and Dr. Vikram Sarabhai uh, liked the uh, uh, design number three which was called SLV-3. So, uh, Dr. Abdul Kalam uh, was roped in to develop it further and uh, that's how uh, SLV-3 uh, came into being and then uh, it, it was used for launching uh, Rohini satellites in space but SLV-3 had a limitation of uh, payload mass of around 40 to 50 kg. Of further development eventually uh, first it became augmented uh, satellite launch vehicle after that it became polar satellite launch vehicle and its uh, uh, carrying capacity rather uh, payload bearing capacity was increased now PSLV can take about 3200 kg in low earth orbit and about 1400 kg in, uh, in uh, geostationary uh, orbits. Mm -hmm.